All right, people, listen up. There is no reason that you should be watching this video and thinking anything other than I'm being unbiased, unfettered, and focused on the real problems. Because that's all I am. I am pretty authentic on this channel. I, I, I do gotta give myself a little pat on the back. Because the good people at Fiber reached out to me and said, hey, uh, can we sponsor a video? And I'm like, yeah, but only if I'm authentic. However, the topic of this video may seem like I'm not being, but 100% unfettered, this is my opinion. Here are three reasons why Fibery, even though this video is sponsored, is better than Notion. So first and foremost, the visualizations within Fibery are a little bit better. So this is a view, as you can see right here, this is a whiteboard. This is something that you do not have within Notion. So something very interesting here is the fact that when you're conceptualizing different things within your workflow. So in the example setup in Fibery, you'll see that there's a CRM, project management, time logging, and secure finance stuff. Within this, this showcases how these different databases are connected. And it's all using the native whiteboard feature. What I really like about this too is the fact that unlike ClickUp, you actually don't have a limited amount of whiteboard views. I will never understand why ClickUp has a limited amount of whiteboard views. They allow you to really get the purpose of all the different things coming together for these different CRMs. So if we go into the CRM here, we'll see that there's a relationship projects. Interesting. I was able to create that within here to give myself an idea. And then within project, there is a task relation. There's a customer success relation. There is rates, which obviously is the hourly rate connected to the time logging within here. And you'll see that it also was connected to the project and the finance secure section is related to the different project and users. So it's very nice to just have these visualizations and moving forward with that, there's also some really good filtering. And what I mean by that is actually different than what you'd expect within Notion versus another app. So if we get to this different Kanban state, it's no secret that you can do like some coloring stuff within Notion, right? But what if I told you that the colors would be able to be changed based on filters rather than just like, okay, the status is this color. Let's make all the colors that. No, in this, if I do name contains characters, as you'll see here, this happens. So if I do add color coding, name contains example, right? So if I go within this, press enter, save this thing. See that now the example task here is like that. So if I do example here as well, all of the different ones that have that name are colored. And you can obviously change it to different assignees. So you can, you can color code who is the customer manager. You can color code based on the date. So let's do the creation dates or actually the duration start is after or before today, you know, then they'd all be green. And there are multiple levels of color here. You'll see that there's the one for the duration start and the one for the name contains. So we have a myriad of different abilities for color coding that you just don't really see within Notion. And while you can color different like text blocks, you can't really do it with like cards. And on top of that, you'll see that there's a global filter option. So these filters are visible to all users and can be changed by creators only. So this is a different, little bit of a different twist on the whole save for everyone functionality that Notion came out with filters recently. However, you can also add my filters on top of it. So let's do name contains example, right? But you can put it within here. Name does not contain example as well. If we put does not contain task, then we'd only be left with example, but everyone would be seeing this, but I would only be seeing this. And that is a very nice thing to do when working on these, because if you don't don't have the ability to filter for yourself versus other people, then what are you really doing? Come on, Notion. What are, you, what are you really doing? There's also the ability to have this global filters for the different columns within here, like state. So that just means that this column of state in progress has the ability to be filtered more as well from that global and that personal level. And something that Notion doesn't have is the ability to put buttons within their system. And, and this is really nice because it adds a layer of automation. You know, it's like when the button is clicked, then you, you can create a new contact and specify field values, update different values, execute JavaScript code. Yeah, Notion ain't doing that. Append content to description, all of these different options. And this is just something like, I mean, even send message to Slack channel. That way you don't have to have an external thing like make.com send them an automation saying, hey, I did this task. No, you get to do it so much more simply. And you can even imagine how this works for onboarding processes for clients. And from an integration standpoint, that just shows that the stuff's more native, which I'll point out, Notion's integrations are not nearly is good because they don't even have that. You also have this ability to change to dark mode, which I know many of you like. And obviously that's a Notion feature, but just wanted to point it out as this is a new beta feature. And just going back to the integrations as well, there is a decent amount of them right here. Obviously a couple of these like GitLab, Jira are synced with Notion and Slack in theory is. I do think that the native Slack integration in Notion is kind of not great. Uh, this one's uh, definitely a little bit better since you're able to take action items and send messages based on certain things like buttons, which in Notion uh, is not a thing. If you're looking for an app that does have a lot more things 
and Notion from an automation perspective. Honestly, in some ways, visuals, even though it's not page oriented, visuals wise, that does have some good stuff in there and a maybe more simple take on project management workflow. Definitely check out Fibery. Thanks again for sponsoring this video and check out this video and I'd improve your productivity 27 times. That's statistically proven. Nah, it's, it's a joke.